Welcome back, Daz from Motoraro Techniques here. So as promised, in my last video, we stepped through the setup or the basic setup of the DCC++ EX command station. So what we did there with that one, I'll put the link to this video below. So what we did with this one, we set up the two different boards, which is the Mega 2560 and also the Deke Motor Shield. And then what I did, I ran it using the computer through JMRI Decoder Pro. So this week we're going to look at using the MakerFab or using the MakerFab Wi-Fi shield. So what that actually does is turns this DCC command station into fully Wi-Fi. So obviously you need a computer to upload all the sketches and everything back onto the Arduino. But after that we use we either use Y throttle if you're an iPhone user and we use engine driver if you're an Android user. So let's get over the workbench and let's get into it. MRT scale prints, helping you to add realism to your model railway. We are producing craftsman quality prints in various scales, including HO, O and N scales. We are proudly Australian owned and operated. www.modelrailroadtechniques.com. Okay, so we'll go through a little bit of a recap here from last week's video. So we're into the DCC++ EX website here and the Get Started page. So this is the part of the website that steps you through everything you need to buy. We'll go into the software, so the command stage, uh, so the command station download, I should say. So there's two ways of doing it. We looked at the EX installer last week and also the latest DCC++ EX, which is the Arduino IDE installation version of doing it. So. I will assume that you know how to unzip a file, so we won't go through that. So it's just a matter of downloading either of those options or both. We'll step through both in this video. Okay, so we've downloaded the, the EX installer and now we've unzipped it and now we've put it into our folder on our C drive where all the Arduino sits. So this is where mine sits here. So, so it's just a matter of going into EX installer and scrolling all the way down until we get to the EX installer here, which is an application, and we let that run. So what we'll do, we'll go and find the, the Arduino, and it'll start downloading or linking in with the GitHub. So from here, we need to go and set up some, some parameters. So we've got the, the command station EX is what we're after. I've got the Arduino Mega, then the motor shield is the Arduino motor shield. As we discussed in the last video, select the COM port, which will be COM port 5 on this one. We're going to go to Wi Fi, enable Wi Fi. So, this first one is what we call station mode. So, station mode is going to be purely when you're using your home network or your network within your layout room will access your controller will connect to that the command station will connect to that they'll talk together and that's how you run your train so the other version which is ap node which is access mode which is basically the command station ex is its standalone web server or y throttle server so we'll go into that as well so this here where it's just a matter of putting your your Wi-Fi SSID and also your Wi-Fi password. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you that side of things. And then we go on to the next section. So at this point, what we need to then do is we go compile and upload. So if everything is correct and we've connected everything correctly, it will just go and upload. Okay, so we now got upload successful here. As you can see, right down the bottom here, it says uploaded, uploaded successfully. So yet again, we'll assume that you know how to unzip a zip file. So where we are right now is in my documents for Windows 10. Now, we're in the, the folder where all my Arduino sketches and everything else sits. So the one we've gone for here is Command Station EX. And then to get into the Arduino IDE setup, we need to click on the Arduino file. All right, so 
there's two different ways that we can access the Wi-Fi here. So we can either go access mode or AP mode, which is where the where the base station acts as its own Wi-Fi server, or you can use station mode, which uses your home network or your layout rooms network, one of a better phrase. So we'll cover both. So what we need to do is we'll cover the station mode first, because obviously that's gonna need your IP addresses or so your, your SSID name or your it's gonna need the name of your network and also your password. So what we need to do there is we need to go, just quickly go back out to the folder where all this is sitting and you'll see a config example. So what we need to do is we need to open that up into a notepad. Now it's very important we don't change the format of this else the sketch will not recognize it. So then it's a matter of going down to this point sorry saving it as no at, at this point what we do we go in and we copy this and then paste it and then we're going to go and we're going to rename it as config now it's very important you don't go save as because save as may turn around and change it away from the sort the CC C++ source file. So you can see I've already got one there. So we won't, I'll just go and get rid of that one quickly. So now we need to go into this, open it up in the notepad. And then we need to go down to the lines that say, hashtag to find Wi-Fi password. So then we put our Wi-Fi password, make sure it goes in between the, make sure, so we go down to where it says define Wi-Fi password. So you put your password in and just make sure it goes between the inverted commas. So also the next one I should have gone through first is up here a little bit further, which is define your SSID. So yet again, it must confine itself to the quotations. And so you put your network name in there. So at that point, it's just a matter of going file and then save. This one's already been saved and pops back out. So just make sure you don't save as, because as I said, it may change, it may change uh, the, the format of the file and then um, the Arduino ID won't recognize it. So at this point, we're, we're in the Arduino. So our Arduino is all plugged in. So just to recap on that, we go to tools, we've got the Arduino Mega Board, Mega 2560, it's in my COM port, and then we go and arrow to the right, upload. So, so what we can now do is we can go and check via the serial monitor to see whether our setup has worked correctly. So what I'll quickly do, so a few different ways you can get into serial monitor. So we're gonna go via tools, serial monitor, and as, as you can see, I've already brought it up now. You're just gonna make sure you select the correct board rate, which is 11520 board, 115,200 board rate, and then that you've selected both NL and CR. Now, if you haven't already done that, you might have to go and obviously set those parameters and then reopen the serial monitor. So what we're looking for is this line of text here. Obviously, I've got some of it blanked out because it's my my own Wi-Fi. However, so we, as you can see, there's the, um, the, the string of code there. Now, for whatever reason, if you have not connected your connections properly. So if you get a string that, that looks like this one here, Wi-Fi setup, no AT++. So that means that there's something amiss. Obviously this is a DIY. So what I have found is that sometimes the, if the connections are not correct. So if you follow the correct connections, if not, just jiggle them around. And it normally, oh, sorry, on all occasions that I have done this, it has actually, has actually worked after that. So with your Wi-Fi 
in your home address totally off. So this is probably the best way to test it to see whether the AP mode works correctly. So what it's gonna give up with just accessing the DCC++ EX in access point mode is gonna give you an address of 162.168.4.1 and it's, it's gonna want a port of 2560. So obviously I can see this probably being used in a, if you're going along to a convention or a train show or something, and you're purely just, you don't have your home Wi-Fi. So it's just a matter of knowing what that, what that address is. So that's just a matter of going into the serial monitor. So in station mode, what we can do, we can go and find out what the IP address is that we need to connect to. So it's just a matter of going back into our serial monitor and letting it run like so and that is the IP address there. And it'll be the same port number 2560. And now we'll head over to the applications and show what you need to do to log in. So let's look at the pin configuration here. So what we're gonna do is start with the pins on the Wi-Fi shoot which is at the top. So we need to look at pin three on the TX row, which is that top row which I'm just placing the wire in there. And that'll go to pin number 19, the RX on the Arduino. So the next pin that we're gonna be looking at on the Wi-Fi shield is pin number one, the RX pin. And that will go to pin number 18, which is the TX on the Arduino. So there we are, that's just a quick look at what they look like in situ. So let's now get on to some of the applications to see how we run these trains. So what you can see here is the setup we've got here. Obviously we've got the command station with the, the Wi-Fi shield on the top. Um, I won't go back into this, but what the buck converter does is in the previous video, just brings the, the voltage down to nine volts for, for the mega. Now you'll see up here in a sec these two little lights which denotes the, the track power going on for Motor Shield A which is the main track. So now we're in uh, engine driver, sorry my mistake, now we're in Y throttle. So when you log into the application this is on a direct screen share of my iPhone, iPhone XS. So it's going to want you to log into the, into the network. So as we previously showed the, the network address with the port number, if it's got something, anything else, it's just a matter of plugging those in. And then we go connect. Then if you've got a good connection, this track power at the top will come up. And then it's just a matter of, so the track power up here will come up and we can toggle that on and off. So red means off, green is obviously on. And with that, you can be able to see that it turns the motor shield A section off, which is telling me that the main track power is being turned on and off. So we're there, um, there's obviously not a tutorial on how to use wire throttle, but it's just a matter of going into then selecting your locomotive and the like. So here we are, got a little bit of stock footage from last week. Um, with Y throttle showing what it looks like. We're obviously now over on the iPad now, back to run some trains. So as I said, not a tutorial on how to use Y throttle, but just that it's that the Wi-Fi is working as it would in either AP mode or station mode. Okay, so that's uh, the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, obviously, just to recap, we talked through adding the Wi-Fi shield to the Arduino Mega, 2560 that is. We looked at the, the jumper cables that are required for it, downloading the software in two ways, so either via the EX, EX installer or via the Arduino IDE. And we ran a few trains quickly and we also looked at toggling the 
applications on and off through Wi Throttle. So, a little bit harder video than I thought it was going to be to record. So, I hope you did like it. I'll, I'll pose a question with you which mode do you think you would use it in? Either in the station mode via your, your home Wi Fi or the AP mode via where the Arduino acts as its own uh, router, so to speak. So if you just want to put those comments below, that'd be great. Don't forget to subscribe, like, click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming content.